everyone. It's me, Kristen. Long time no see. So I'm making this video. Um, it's kind of been a long time coming because, well, I didn't want to talk about this when my mom was alive because it was her medical issue. But um, so my mom just passed away and it was, you know, hard, but like she went like very peacefully at home and I was here and the hospice nurse was here and um, so I haven't really talked about any of this on YouTube because I we didn't want my mom to be like bothered by people or you know like you know um, sort of you know harassed or anything like that so Anyway, my mom had Parkinson's and dementia for about, I don't know, two or three years now. Um, and my brother and I were taking care of her. And it was, like, totally the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And also, like, I'm so glad that I was able to do that. And I'm glad that my brother and I were both able to do that and take care of her and it was kind of like a greatest gift I could get from her. Um, I don't know, a gift from her, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, it was a gift to be able to take care of her, even though it was like so hard. I, I can't even tell you how hard it was. Um, and so finally luckily she when she went downhill she went downhill pretty fast towards the end so it was like um so she didn't have to be in severe like unwellness for a long time um and her death was you know peaceful but um yeah so that's what I've been doing the last couple of years I've been sort of trying to go to school and but mostly just taking care of mom and um, thank God I had my brother's help because <laughs> I couldn't have done it by myself. Um, so I'm going to be posting probably some videos talking about um, what it was like to take care of somebody with dementia and um, Parkinson's because it's kind of a, a combination that doesn't necessarily go well together because like um, so mom would have trouble walking, um, but she didn't really realize that she had trouble walking. So then, um, you know, um, she would get into situations where, like, because I lived with mom, and um, so I was here, you know, all the time. But um, so she'd get up at, like, 4 in the morning. I'd be asleep. Um and she'd try to do something that she couldn't do, um, and then she'd end up falling or something like that. So that was super scary. And, yeah, um, you know, because she just didn't realize that um, she couldn't do the things that she normally did. So it's a <laughs> tough combination of having, you know, mobility impairments plus... Um, brain stuff going on so anyway I just thought I'd make this short update and I will be talking more about this later probably because it's been a long long process um, has been a learning process for me I learned a lot <laughs> and I struggled a lot um, anyway um, for my mom's passing I'm you know, glad that she's out of pain, um, but it's hard, you know, because um, my dad died like five years ago, and now my mom's gone too, so yeah. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.